Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. I hope you all are doing great. Now let's assume that you have a product. It could be a digital product. It could be a product that you're selling or a service. Now, how would you bring your dream customers to buy those products? And if I had to ask you, how would you make your customers buy those products which you want them to buy? Well, the answer to these questions are from the title and the thumbnail of today's video that is sales funnel. Well, sales funnel is the key to success for all the marketing what you do. Well, in today's video, I'll be telling you how a sales funnel is. What is a sales funnel? What are the types in sales funnel? More importantly, how to master a sales funnel? And even more important than that is how you're going to build that ladder between your customer and your product. So end of the day, your customers buy what you want them to buy so that you become profitable in the end. And the bonus for today's video is I will be showing you how to build a sales funnel while we uh, do our you know about how these sales funnels are at the same time with the tools that are online in the market we will create a sales funnel so that you get to know how a sales funnel works and how it exactly it looks like right so without wasting more time let's master the sales funnel so everyone before we move into our sales funnel here's a beautiful and powerful quote from Russell, uh, the founder of ClickFunnels. So he says, no matter where you are, you're one funnel away from where you should be. Just look at it. Wow. So that's such a powerful quote. Like we all have so many dreams to achieve and we want to, you know, achieve it as soon as possible. But to take that one step, we still think about it. And I've seen people who are so lazy enough who want to achieve things, but they don't take that first step, you know, first step to success. They don't take those first step and that's why they're away from where they should be. So the first step to where you want to be is the key to get what you want. So that was one quote which I wanted to um, keep before we start into our sales funnel. So let's move on to our sales funnel. So first thing is what is a funnel, right? That's the main thing. Now, if someone asks you, you know what sales funnel is, you know what, how, how it works, all those things you might be knowing. But what's the true meaning of it? That's the real question, right? What's the uh, terminologies that are important in sales funnel? When some marketing uh, department or a marketer asks you this question, you must be knowing it. Well, here's it is. Funnel can be considered as a bridge. Yeah, so funnel can be considered as a bridge in the sense of bridging the gap between the leads brought or the customers from your, from various marketing and your product which you you are going to sell well bridging is the main terminology right here so you have your leads you have your customers you have your people whom you have done your marketing and you also have the product which you want to sell but how will you bridge that gap between so that they buy those products which you want them to buy so end of the day you become profitable right so you want them to buy specifically those products because there are there will be some customers who would want only certain category products who wouldn't want to buy the product but they want to see how your product works so there are many kind of customers and there are varieties of people who think in a different way so to make those people also buy sales funnel is a key to it right now we have another thing which uh, another point which you can also consider as meaning also true so Funnel is the path where you make the customers get attracted to your product in such a way that they end up having higher cost of return than what you had made in the first purchase of your customer. Now, this is like a twisted meaning and stuff, right? Well, here what mean is your higher cost, which I mentioned higher cost of return and the first purchase of your customer. Now, the meaning of this a uh, line or this whole sentence is funnel is something where your your first customer your customer would have purchased something you would have purchased a simple product but you wouldn't have been that profitable why because you would have spent a lot on marketing so that you get the, that customer right you would want that customer to buy and he would have bought only one simple product of yours but you're still on a loss 
Now what you do is sales funnel. Sales funnel is the thing which will make that customer buy variety of products of yours. So end of the day, he he tries to buy as many products of yours and you become profitable. So that's the meaning of sales funnel is. So in the end, he purchases a lot, uh, you know, more products of yours. So there's high return for you. That's the meaning of this. So now let's understand sales funnel with the help of McDonald's, shall we? Because McDonald's is one of the, uh, you know, key uh, reasons or the key uh, example for sales funnel. They are the best examples for sales funnel. So here we have an example. So let's understand with that. So as we know, McDonald's for burgers, fries, Coke and many others, right? I, I literally love McDonald's. I am, let me know in the comment section if you guys love too. So here's an example. Now, let me bring my mouse right here. So we have burger. Okay. Now let's assume the cost of the br uh, burger's production is $10. Fine. The cost of the production could be, yeah, let's assume $10. And in rupees, let's assume it's 50 rupees. Fine. Now, there's a customer of ours that is Alts. Let's assume Alts is a customer. He wants to buy the burger and we are selling the burger at $2. Now, if you see, we made the burger for $10 and we're selling it at $2 and in rupees, if we consider, we, are, we made the burger for 50 rupees, but we're selling it to ads at maybe 35 rupees. Now, we still are in loss, right? This is, this is a quite loss. That's just one burger, right? Now, here's what the funnel makes the difference. Fine. Now, what McDonald's does here is they ask the customers, the, uh, let's assume uh, ads, so they're going to ask Alts, so would you like to have some fries or oh, which will make it even more better with Coke if you feel thirsty enough. So with those words of marketing, they make Alts buy the fries as well as the Coke. Now let's assume the Coke and the fries uh, is for $5 each. This is $5, this is $5 and in rupees, let's consider the Coke as uh, $10 and fries as 15, 50, sorry, 10, 10 rupees and uh, fries as 15 rupees. So now if you see McDonald's could have done like, you know, they could have just sold as for fries, right? Just the fries and the burger and keeping the fries for $10 or maybe 25 rupees. Now what would happen is Ayaz wouldn't go and buy the fries. He would tell, no, I would not require, I would just require a burger. The reason is he will see the affordable range. Now you're selling this at $2 and you're selling this at $10. He will obviously think there's an $8 difference. There's no affordable price. There's, it's not like if you think in such a way so what mcdonald's did is they cleverly put those prices to these two so there's production of the both the products as well as he buys the mcdonald's burger now you see closely you look at this now this is for two dollars this and this for five dollars so totally twelve dollars now remember you made the burger for ten dollars you're making a profit of twelve dollars two dollars extra Correct? $2 profit, not extra. $2 profit. Now remember, where did the $2 come from? It came from the burger itself. So the burger cost came from the burger, but you covered it with the McDonald's fries and the Coke. Correct? And if you see in rupees also, this was for 35 rupees. This was for 15 and this is for 10 rupees. You made it for 55 rupees. You made the burger for 50 rupees. You made a profit of 5 rupees. Okay, now this $2 and 5 rupees might be a low cost right now, but here's the key. You will get shocked after getting to know this. Now, assume there are 100 customers in a day, correct? 100 customers plus this whole thing combo with $12 profit you made. So 12 into 100, $1,200 just in a single day. And in rupees, if you consider 55 rupees for this whole thing you made plus 55 into 100, so you made thousand, sorry, 5,500 profit. That's just one day and that's just 100 customers. Let's assume there are more than 100. You can get to know how much profit McDonald's is making. So this is the best example to understand how McDonald's uses the sales funnel from using this burger to getting those three products sold for ads. So let me know if you, li uh, you, know, you like this uh, example or you love this example and let me know uh, which burger category you like the most in the comment section. So let's move on. Let's move on and see what are the types of funnel, right? Now we've spoke about funnel. We spoke about what is a funnel, but what are the types in funnel? So we have different funnels. We have four types of funnels. We have ads funnel. We have email marketing funnel. We have blog funnel. We have upscale funnel. 
and there are many other funnels but these four are considered to be one of the uh, key leading funnels which you can consider right now so let's understand each of them in a better way right let's understand what ads funnel is what's email marketing funnel is what's blog funnel is what's uh, upscale funnel is right so first comes is ads funnel so what do you do with ads the first thing what you do is uh, with the ads is like uh, banner ads that you have on youtube so what you do is at first you run ads on youtube of your product maybe let's assume your uh, cosmetic product so run ads on the youtube platform so now let's assume there is a customer ads itself you have a cosmetic product now you're trying to run the ad on as youtube uh, platform he sees your ad okay and let's assume he skipped your ad but he saw it like twice thrice and he knows that there's a product like this next what you do with the ads funnel is you start sending the ads uh, to the other social media platforms such as instagram facebook how do you do that by the leads the leads what you have you put them those ads again and again and let's assume ads is in these leads he is in instagram as well as facebook what you do is again try to run ads on instagram and facebook and here he'll again get to know your product he'll again see your product he'll be like okay this product seems to be quite interesting he'll feel next what you do is you send ads on websites now ads might be visiting many websites like google maybe some website for programming or any other website what you do is you send ads on the website now here what happens is when he sees so many ads running he will see that okay this is a product which is quite interesting and he will be like okay which is this product he will want to know and he will come to your platform so that's the you know a whole point of this ads funnel that's how powerful this ad funnel is so that's how ads funnel work next what we have is email marketing funnel now email marketing funnel is also called as the leading marketing funnel because here's where you interact with your customers let me tell you how so first you send an email asking a question maybe let's assume uh, we are selling a product for a pen okay so we have a pen and uh, we are uh, asking the customer how uh, what is his work or how does he uh, like what is his profession about uh, what his profession uh, needs and all those wants we ask him so we get to know what are his needs next what we do is we build up a story we can build a, st a story from your customer itself you have some customer you can build your own story so you start building a story in the email so you ask the question in the email you get the response in the email as well as you build the story in the email so once you know the story as well as this questions what your customer gave from the questions he gave you would have got to know what is his problem right for example let's have als as an example right here also so let's assume that als likes more of ink pen pen a pen those are in ink or like blue or something let's assume like that and that's where you get to know okay this customer of ours or this person needs a blue ink pen so what you do is you start sending emails about your niche and niche in the sense blue ink pen whatever the customer has told you try to solve the problem so if you see the problem he gave there's a pothole right let's assume there's a pothole right here you fill that pothole with this email so that's the main reason why this third email is sent next after this once you have sent he will get to know okay you are basically a person who sells a pen ink pen blue color pen he'll get to know here you you, you have sent a story he'll be reading the story okay this is the story this is how your platform helps someone then you have in the first also you have asked him the question okay they have asked question that's fine that's good next what you do is you start sending offers now here he'll feel you know those uh, homey thing like you know homey vibes uh, that okay these people are quite good enough let me buy their product so that's where you make your sales that's where you put those offers that's where you start sending them offers and finally you get your conversion rate so that's how email marketing funnel works next we have blog funnel now blog funnel is one of the funnel which most of the content creators use and many of the bloggers also use to get their profits so let's see how this works right now this is a blog post okay now you want those conversion rate for your product whatever you have you might have put a link you might have put some uh, affiliate link or something like that so you want them to buy those link right you want them to buy this product how will you do that so 
you have something called as an organic traffic and you also have something called as a paid traffic and let me know in the comment section if you guys want a video on you know how to generate organic traffic and paid traffic and what this organic traffic and paid traffic is all about let me know in the comment section and i'll definitely make a video on that too so organic traffic we have from facebook instagram youtube paid traffic we have from facebook ads instagram ads youtube ads and we also have done email marketing that's the previous one which i told you email marketing funnel email marketing so we have three from three platforms we have emails right now what we do is we try to send them to our blog post then we start uh, utilizing the google ads now google ads what we are going to do is we are going to use the google adsense uh, so we generate an income from ads that we run on our blog post and at the same time from the google and from sms we try to start selling our product so at the same time when we have this many customers we try to sell them from sms the product information all those things from google we take the information we start sending them about the information about the product so end of the day they finally buy our product that's how blog post is so powerful so you're making a product purchase as well as you're making an income from google ads too right next we have upscale funnel now upscale funnel most of the business uh, uses this now upscale funnel is one of the funnel which gives you the highest conversion rate now i'll tell you how now you have a customer who would have bought a simple product okay let's assume it's a cosmetic product okay right now so there's a product which is for let's assume let's go for dollars okay let's go for 30 dollars okay there's a cosmetic product and i know that uh, cosmetic products are not so low they're quite expensive but let's assume for this example right so 30 dollars now the cost of production was around maybe uh, 100 dollars or something let's assume like that fine okay no 100 80 dollars or something okay 80 dollars is quite good enough uh, so you have 30 dollars you have sent uh, you have got a customer for 30 dollars but you have done for 80 dollars so around uh, 50 dollars difference 50 dollars loss correct and let's assume in rupees also right so let's assume you made 100, 100 rupees for the product of your you have made but you're getting only 30 rupees fine you're getting the cotton cosmetic product for 30 rupees so you still have the 50 rupees difference right sorry oh, 70 rupees difference right now what you do you sell you send them to a sales page while they're going to buy the product you're going to send them to a sales page where you're going to add on to those purchases like for example this cosmetic product of maybe some uh, mirror something something like that okay some cosmetic brand with the same uh, if this was a lipstick let's assume this was a lipstick there is a mirror with some uh, you know beauty stuff something like that uh, so here it's there's another sale of maybe uh, let's assume 20 20 rupees right here yeah so let's keep 20 rupees right here and let's assume here also as uh, $20 itself okay now $20 here 30 so already you made a 50 right here fine $50 you already made now next what you do is once you make the customer add on to it you again send them to an upsell OTO now OTO I'll be explaining in the further uh, pages so don't worry about that OTO is a one-time offer okay so ups upsell OTO what you do is you add on another purchase product so what you're trying to do is you're selling more products by keeping them at low cost so that's what is upscale funnel so you send them to another one you send them to another one but here you keep an option you want it or not so you keep an option right here so you make them buy this you make them buy this and then finally you reach that hundred dollar or hundred rupees margin right so that's how this upsell funnel works okay now how to master a funnel or marketing by um, uh, master a funnel marketing by two keys yeah so if we see we know what funnel is we know what how funnel works we have seen what the types of funnels are but now how do we master it by these two simple keys we can definitely master the funnel, sales funnel so let's see how it works first one is take care of your customer and your customers will take care of you so this is such a powerful thing like your each and every customer is important for you now as now see let's take an example of mcdonald's itself now if as wants a burger make get him the best burger you can give 
if he wants a fries give him the fries with the offer so take care of your customers in such a way so that whenever they come next time they buy your product in the sense they are taking care of you so that's one thing what you need to what you need to take care in sales funnel second thing follow up with each and every customer of yours no matter how small or big now how small or big does not mean that he's poor or rich not like that that's not what i'm talking about small in the sense if he has purchased a product which is small like if he has purchased a product which is at low rate of your uh, whole product collection and there's a guy who has purchased more products of yours it does not mean that you just focus on the person who has taken more right you need to focus on the small one also the small purchases also because who knows that guy one day can purchase those things what your higher customer has bought correct and at the same time you need to take care of the bigger customers who have already bought because you don't want that customer to leave you you want them to stay on to you because they will take care of you the first point they will take care of you so always take care of your customers follow up with each and every customers so that they end of the day stick on with you so let me in the let me know in the comment section how these two keys were in the comment section how these powerful keys were and let me know in the comment section will you follow these two keys because these two keys are the uh, path to success for a wonderful or a beautiful sales funnel okay now next let's move on we have how does a funnel work right now here's a simple diagram which will make all your doubts clear how the sales funnel works so first thing we have awareness next thing we have interest fourth a uh, third we have decision and fourth we have action So if you see awareness now you have a funnel you have customers okay let's assume you have customers all around the world you have in the social media you have offline you have online everywhere correct now how will you get those customers first thing is awareness you want to tell hi we are we are here we are here uh, you guys can see us so that's awareness next is interest interest in the sense there are many customers let's say 100 customers out of the 100 customers there are 50 customers who are having problem with some niche and that niche is the niche which you are focused on so what you are going to do is you are going to drive those interest of those customers whoever is there you are going to start making their interest third is decision you are making those customers attracted to your products which you have and you are going to make them do the decision like you can show two three other products you can show five to six products and make them you know think about it okay this is a product which might help me this is a product which can uh, help me solve my problem something like that okay so that's the decision part fourth is where you get the key to everything is action you are going to make those customer buy your product so that's where this thing comes action is the main and uh, one of the difficult in sales funnel because most of the customers right here they will they might go or they might stay so there's a 50/50 chance but action once they reach to the action that is purchasing action you have your profit right there next we have another funnel also so something we have some uh, he right here called as cold customer mid customer and hot customers fine now what is this cold mid and hot so cold customers are the customers who purchase uh, normal prices normal price products which we have okay mid customers are the customers who purchases your uh or uh, your offers or your sales whatever you have those are the mid customers hot customers are uh, are the customers who buy your plans so cold uh, if you see cold customers are customers in the sense they just buy your products maybe uh, let's assume pen right let's assume pen as an example right here so just they, they just buy those pen mid customers are the one who will see your offer and then they purchase hot customers are the ones who buy your plans maybe or some plan like buy two uh, pens and you get this one free something like that so this is one of the best way to understand how your customers work and one of the best example i can give right here is let's assume als as an example right here now he's into a professional maybe accounting or something now while accounting he needs a lot of pen work right let's assume pen as an our product fine so what i'm going to do is i see als is a is in a good profession what i'm going to do is awareness what i will do is go and ask him is Oh uh, sir how, how is your day going on how is your profession all about so here he'll get to know that he's eager means al will get to know that i'm eager to know what i'm working for next i ask his interest like i'll ask there'll be might be a lot of pay, paperwork there might be a lot of use of pen all those things and he will give me an answer so once this is done next i will give my decision my decision is to 
like i use this pen i'm not telling that's my product but i will tell there's a pen which help me do this that this and he will think about it and then i show the pen and how it works all those features finally he'll take the action now i could have instead of doing all this procedure i would have just told him so there's a pen like this would you like to buy else would it buy but if i had gone through this funnel he will definitely buy because he knows there is a pen in his office he might be knowing there's a pen in his office and he, he will know that he can use that pen but when i tell all these features when i ask him what is it and drive his interest he will feel like okay let me buy this pen so that's how this funnel is powerful enough yeah so let's move on now how does a funnel help in a business or for personal use right that's more is more important how does a funnel help in a business now this is where i told i those oto comes all those things so here's it where it comes so let me explain how it works so first in the order page you have something called as fe now fe is a front end product now front end product might be at a low cost because you want that affordable range you want the customer to buy that product right you want that person to buy your product and stay on with your brand then you want the sales from him you want profit from him what you do is you send him to an upset oto that's one okay this is one upset oto one you show him so there's a product like this don't go you can purchase this also with it you just show them an offer with it so let's assume they, he does not want to buy it he just want to stay with that what you do is you send them to a downset oto which is at a low cost now let's assume this was at 30 30 this was at 50 dollars he was not like no 50 is too high for me 30 i've already done i would like to go for 30 but you send him to a downset where you show 20 so there even though there's a 30 rupees difference right here you send him to a 20 then what you do is you send them to a thank you page and there is the purchase done okay or else you what you can do is you can send him to an uh, upsell uh, sorry upsell oto2 where you make a 50 rupees difference then what you do is you sell send him to the maybe he's like no i would not like to buy then you send him to an ups, uh, upset oto3 which is again at an affordable range but with offers so there's this 30 rupees difference right so you send them 20 and then you have a 30 rupees offer something you put put it here so they buy that and then you send them to a thank you page so if he goes right here to upset oto either you have an option to send him to downset oto or you have an option to send him to upset oto2 so this is how firms work what they do is they have an order page they sell, send them to your oto they want you to buy one more or they want them want you to buy another one and then another one and then to a downset and finally to the thank you page they used you for all their purchases and they made the product purchase and they made their profit so this is how this you know whole upscale or uh, upscale uh, funnel works in a business form and this is how most of the business form use it as a strategy to make profit from you okay so next which uh, is the different types of scale, uh, you know sales funnel tools uh, and how to create one so there are many different tools online which we are going to use is uh, grow funnels just a second oh, it's not coming right here okay fine so we are going to use something called as the grow funnels and uh, system.io so with the help of these uh, we are going to create a sales funnel we are going to create one sales funnel and we are going to know how it works so let's move on to the screen and see how this uh, sales funnel works with the help of uh, system.io uh, system and also we try with grow funnels too so let's move on to the screen. So guys, right now we are on the screen and we are in the website of system.io. So this is the website and it says to create an account. So first we need to create an account before we move into creating an funnel. So you can go ahead and put your account right here uh, by putting uh, your email address and clicking on click here. Now I already have an account. So if I click here, it will just say user already exists. So yeah, it's already saying, it's already saying that. So you can put your email address here i have a customized email address so i'm just put that you can put your personal email address it does not matter um, however you want it to be so i already have an account so uh, what's going to happen next i'll just tell you once you click on the click here right here button uh, you'll move into a new tab which says uh, there'll be a verification email that will be sent to you which will be having a link so you need to click on that link uh, if at all you have not got the email just check in your spam section because sometimes the email goes to your spam also so if it not if it has not gone to your spam uh, section just check in your inbox and you will get it 
so once you click on the email you will get a confirmation email uh, so click on that and you will get a link so once you get the link click on that link and once you click on that link you need to put a password for your account so you will get an option to create a password so create a strong password for your account uh, there will be a confirmation password and click uh, enter once that is done it will uh, you have to come back to the same site right here uh, where you will get an option to click here to log in so I'll log in to my account right here uh, I already have an account so let me log in and you guys will also have the account right now so whichever email address you had put for the email to get put that email and the password whatever you have put just now and you can click on sign in so once you have done that you will get into your dashboard right here this is the dashboard right here or you'll get many options like upgrade your account dashboard contacts funnel email blogs automation product sales help and many more and there's the sales how it has gone all these you know it shows the statistic uh, sorry uh, graphs right here uh, now I'm gonna go and upgrade my account and if you guys want to upgrade your account uh, I will leave the link in the description I would recommend you guys to upgrade because uh, system.io is better in you know funnel marketing or email marketing uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys want a video on how to do email marketing and about email marketing I will definitely do a video on that uh, but let me tell you system.io plays a key role in email marketing so I would highly recommend you guys to upgrade for that uh, there's one plan for $27 so I'm gonna go for that and upgrading the account so I'll be back and just upgrading my account I'll be back as soon as possible one eternity later so guys uh, I've already upgraded my account now uh, let's move into making the funnel uh, so we are gonna click on funnel right here so once you click on funnel right here it shows zero funnel obviously because you have not created any funnel uh, now what am I going to sell is the real question right what is the uh, real product that I'm gonna sell so I'm gonna sell a digital product that is a book so I already have a book called as do we know it I've written this book uh, so it says by uh, Vignesh Prasad this is my book so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to read my book uh, I'll do leave the ebook link in the description in one of the videos not in this video definitely uh, but uh, in the next videos or some things but let me know in the comment section if you guys want to read my book uh, so this book is all about uh, universe black hole multiverse uh, a little bit of science fiction so it's like you know the book is all asking you the question all thing something like that usually books are meant to you know read all those things right but this is something different this is like uh, the book is going to ask you the question and as you know by the title itself do we know it so that itself is a question right so let me know in the comment section uh, now let's move into uh, making the funnel so I already uh, have a digital product so let me create a funnel for that fine so now which funnel are we gonna create that's the real question now I told you four funnel categories okay four types I told you so today uh, for now we are gonna make the email marketing funnel so we're gonna create the email marketing funnel so I'm gonna click on create um, and it'll give me an option right here first I'll just put it as um, a book funnel so book funnel or yeah book funnel or I'm gonna keep it as um, let's keep it do we know it itself that's better do we know it fine you can keep whatever you want you can sell whatever you want now this book is an example I'm not telling you to sell my book itself or sell anyone like you can sell anyone's book if you're an affiliate market you can go ahead and sell that uh, if you have any of your product it's totally up to you what you want to sell so go ahead and do that now we have four options right here build an audience sell custom uh, run an uh, very green webinar uh, there are many categories but we are gonna kill, click on build an audience and here I'm gonna click on uh, maybe US dollars uh, let me go for um, rupees or something better Indian rupees your choice currency is your totally up to your choice I could also go for dollars so it's totally up to you how you want to go so I'm gonna click on Indian rupees um, however you want your currency to be so it's gonna create a funnel for me create a new funnel so it's gonna give me a lot of choice right here so I can choose out of this but um, let me choose um, you have a lot of choice right here so you can go ahead and just continue on clicking any of them so let me see which is the better one this is kind of simple and better so I would recommend for that or else what else is there right here that I would like to go for mm. It's a simple one which I want to go because this, I'm just showing you an example so you can choose whichever you want don't it's not like that if I'm choosing this you need to choose it's totally up to you 
or how you want to customize okay let me go for this this is better so i'm gonna click on this select so it just created me a squish uh, squish page so i'm not gonna keep it as squish uh, page uh, i'm gonna keep it as do we know it as we know it right so do we know it fine and this is the first step and if you want to change this url also you can go ahead you can put it as do we know it too or you can create however you want it to be so do we know it okay so that's also created right there so this is a url right here uh, that you have just customized and you now you have a squish page and you have a thank you page but we are still gonna add more and more uh, i'll be letting you know what it is there is automation rules a b testing i don't use this much so let's just keep it aside uh, then there's statistics you can get to know on how uh, well uh, the funnel is performing sales and decline settings all those things you can just have a test around but we're going to use automation rules before we use the automation rules let's go ahead and create a campaign let's create an email marketing campaign so we need to create an email marketing campaign so let's click on um, campaign so we are going to keep it as marketing clients list yeah that's better description you can go ahead like um, um leads we can put it as leads for now or uh, however you want it so leads save a campaign and there you go we have the campaign done uh, ready for us now let's come back to our funnel our funnel is right here do we know it so once we come right here let's go to customization let's edit the page right that's more important so we're going to click so i forgot to just show you let me just come back to where a little fast i believe so we're going to click on this edit page so we're going to click on this edit page and i don't really want this thing so i'm just going to click on delete and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it as do we know it or you know what i'll just not keep it because the banner which i'm having is having do we know it so if there's a lot of do we know it do you know it it's going to be a little difficult right so i'll say enter your name and email address to access the resource for free or uh, yeah that's better to get the conversion rate i think it's already done for us but i'm not going to keep this as the background i'm going to change it i'm going to upload my own file right here so i'm going to select the file so so this is the file so i already have a banner right here so it says 5 mb or oh, it's more than 5 mb mm. Let me see what I can do. I think I have an image. So let me go ahead and put that image. Yep, here it is. I'm going to click on OK. Let's see if this works. I think, yeah, it worked. So it's less than 5 MB. So make sure to keep that 5 MB margin. Oh, I did not notice that uh, for now. So sorry, sorry for that. Uh, but uh, it's a very good image which I designed uh, just a few hours ago. So it says like, uh, you know, uh, the book and do we know it? Ask yourself, discount of 85% off, free shipping. Uh, so something like this I created. So you guys can go and do this. Uh, what I could do is I could have compressed the file, but my video will get on longer and longer, which I don't want to do it right now. But you could compress, I could compress my file and then I could have uploaded. So right now I don't have much time. So I'm just going to skip it or uh, rather uh, I'll stick on with this image right here. Just, just got uploaded right here. So I'm going to click on insert. Well, it looks good. I could uh, let me do uh, bring it to the top um right here or something yeah this is better so this is better oh uh, kind of fine you can put your own, your own image if that would have been it would have been better so let's uh, it's fine for now so uh, uh here is called as the column section so here we are going to ask a few things so we are going to ask the first name we are going to ask the email address now remember you remember uh, we created the email campaign so whatever email comes here goes to that campaign so remember to put the email address right here that's what is more important okay so if you want we can add more uh, we can add more columns right here uh, for example i'll just duplicate this so uh, here if i wanted i could choose a company name city or you could ask the phone number you could ask country uh, zip code state uh, and many more and that's why i told you if you upgrade your account it's far more better because you get many options to do like seriously you see phone number you can just ask the phone number and you can get more conversion rate from the phone number like send sms all those things so right now i'll go ahead and delete this because i just need the email address and uh, name and I'll click on save changes so right now this is done it is saved i'm gonna click on exit right button right there i'm gonna add a step right here so the step is going to be is 
um, that is going to be an upsell page so you remember we had an upsell page so we're going to put it as upsell page right here and we're going to click on save and there you go there uh, there's an upsell page for us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a normal upsell page for now i don't want it to be too huge and designy stuff let's a small one uh, for for this video or oh, you guys can have your customized one okay i'm going to click on select i want to select this so for now this is uh, how it looks like so for now i'll keep this as the url uh, what I will do is I'm going to bring this here. So there's this quest page, upsell page. You remember we did it in the diagram, upsell page and thank you page. So what I'm going to do is I will uh, edit this a bit. Um, there is some video and webinar or something. Okay, customize your order. Uh, don't close this page. Accept and decline. Okay, so what I would do here is I will remove this. I'm gonna click the video because I don't want the video rather I'll just keep it as customize your order and what I can do is I can add a content box right here and I will leave you guys uh, to customize this because from here you can add many elements you can put bulleted you can put section you can put offer pages products you can put products right here so however you want see you want the products you can do it so customizing i will leave it to you guys so i'll just keep it like this uh, for now so i'll click on save changes and i will exit from here and this is done right here now squish page is right here upsell page is right here thank you page is right here so thank you page it automatically does the thing so i need not worry about that uh, now coming into the email marketing now what are we going to do with this so we are going to click on workflow and we are going to do automation right now so we are going to do the automation so let's click on create we are going to put as funnel for now funnel and save so before uh, we do this i just forgot to tell you one thing um, in funnel if you remember i told you we have to create the email campaign for something so this is called as the automation rule for this so you want to come to the funnel back to your funnel come to automation uh, click on automation rules uh, click on add rules uh, then you're going to click on funnel step from subscribe then you're going to click on add action now i'll let you know what it is so subscribe and click on subscribe to campaign and choose the campaign that's the marketing clients list and save a rule now what is this all about so what we did is we added a rule we added the funnel step from subscribe now what is this funnel step to subscribe so remember we had that email name and then we had download the book so when it comes to the upsell page before it comes to the upsell page there's a button which says download right Whenever that person is going to click on that, he's going to come to the campaign and that is what this rule is all about. So once the rule is set up, we are going to come to workflow and we're going to going to automate it from the funnel. So what we are going to do right here is we are going to create a funnel. Now, this is how exactly a funnel will look like. So we're going to create the first target. So what we are going to do is funnel from the subscribe. You remember we sent him to the category so that we click it on the squish page, create and that is done now what we are going to do is we are going to send him a mail so what are we going to do is we are going to send him an email right here um yeah send an email and let's create one create a new one we'll say um a uh, what no uh, like um, do do you think about the same or do you think the same do you think the same yeah so now this also this is again totally up to you guys how you want it so this is an email title so you can click on save email and it's going to create an email for right now so this is how it's going to look like um this is uh, one more thing you need to have your customized email right here so let me just put that and what i will do is i'll just put my customized one so I've put it um, now what I'm going to do is uh, here I have a notepad which I have already written an email so this is about the book uh, and about how the book is all about and 
i've also left a google form now if you remember in the email marketing i told you at first we are going to ask the question to the customer so we are going to ask the question right here so it's the question is the google form where we are going to collect the question so in order to understand the google form i have a google form right here so this is a google form so i would like do we know it i've already pre-made so you guys can create a you know a google form and this is a simple one there's not much questions just i needed some few questions which i needed to understand the customer so you can customize your own way as i told you this is a simple example so this whole thing is a simple example so here i put is what's your opinion about the universe or uh, do you think black hole exists in the universe i could have put many other questions but this is you know an example how it exactly should look like and if you see this is an uh, again an example like um, many people just love to answer the questions and have uh, having to get more than 50 uh, opinions now i would like to know yours and you are one of them whom i would like to uh, hear from rest of uh, rest of the are here from or from the rest of the as you're the special person to me and then i've put here it is or uh, here it is to go and i put the email link right sorry uh, the link right here so it's about totally up to you how you're framing your sentence and how you uh, you know attract the customer however you want it so right now i'll copy that and i will come to the funnel page and i'm just gonna put it right here and the link is right here too uh, what i will do is i will just comment this back yep that's fine so this is perfectly done the link is right there and everything is there i'm gonna click on save changes right here sorry save and that's the first email oh uh, okay uh, it says a container oh uh, i'll put it as um as for now <laughs> so let's take as as an example so as so we we'll put as right there so first of all so send um an email so that's the email funnel which we have sent that's email th that is done next what we are going to do is if he does not open the mail right so we are coming to a decision right here um, so email clicked uh if he does not do you think the same so what we are going to do is if he does not click if he clicks there'll be two emails so there'll be one email and if he does not click there'll be one more email so what we are going to do is if he clicks we are going to send him a story uh, uh means um, maybe um like about the how people have thought about means people uh, about the opinion about the book and if he has not clicked we are going to again send the same thing so let me go ahead and just do this uh, i'll be sending the same uh, email again so let's assume that he did not click so this is going to repeat and let's assume if he clicked so that's why there's a yes and a no so if he does not click he'll come he'll again get the email and if he clicks um what we're going to do is action we're going to choose sub uh, sorry send an email we're going to create a new one now this time review which you would like to read yeah so if you remember in the email marketing which i just taught in the video i told you now we are going to send them the review we are going to create a story so that's what we're going to do it right here that's what is all about so uh, again i'm going to put it as as right here i'll just change the email address this is not the email address um i'll just put the email address and then here what i've done is there's a review from my friend ravi so he just gave me this review so i'm just going to copy this review and i'm just going to put it right here so this is a story so the person is going to read this so this is done now i'm click on i'm going to click on save and there is the story that is built so if you see right now we did uh you know we sent him a mail on asking a question if he does not read we'll again send him the question and ask him if he read then we are going to send him the story right so we have sent the story now once this is done we are going to do a last thing that is send him offers so what we are going to do is we are going to again um, send him an email so this time we are going to create a new and offer offer for the weekend we are going to do it like this so it's totally up to you how you want to bring your offer 
so if you remember i told you you're gonna send offers right so i have kept your offers for the weekend so i'm gonna copy this and paste it right here i'm gonna put it as als right here and let me change the email address fine so offer for the weekend and what i would do is i'll just add the banner right here which i wasn't able to upload last time oh uh, let me do that i'll just go ahead and upload um upload choose file um where is it deep learn and here it is yep open oh wait just a second okay this is second um yeah send it to server once i click on this we gonna click on okay okay oh uh, image url is missed okay just a second uh choose file and we gonna click on this send it to server and let's see if this works there's a problem with the image so i'm just seeing okay oh uh, the file image is too long so let me do one thing i have another image <laughs> let me see oh uh, okay this is working let's see yep it worked so uh i'll be adding this so totally up to you how whichever image that would keep make sure to keep that 5 mb thing because that's the problem right here so i'm going to click on okay and uh, this looks quite large so let me just uh, make the changes right here uh let me just resize it a bit yep that's better i'll bring it in the middle yep that's better offer for the weekend so this is a poster however you want the poster to be this is a simple poster you can have your own customized poster totally up to you so i've done that now let's cl click on save so what we did right now so what we did we send him the question we send him the story we send him the offer so this is how you create a email marketing in system.io so i hope you got to know how we do it in system.io uh, let me know in the comment section if you were able to do the funnel in system.io and also i'll be leaving the link of system.io uh so you can purchase the 20 or uh, $27 pre package one and create the best funnel for yourself now this whole funnel was an example the images were an example uh the book is an example now you need to think of your product you need to think how you are going to frame your sentence these are all an example phrase of a sentence right you need to think of how you're going to make the sentence remember i told you take care of your customers the customers will take care of you so that's how we do it and uh system dot io now let's go ahead and do it and grow funnels i think the video is getting too long so i'm just going to quickly make a funnel and grow a funnel and then we are going to go ahead so we will really just keep grow funnel right here so grow funnel dot cm this is the uh website right here what we are going to do is going to click on get started for free we are going to create and create an account right here and we are going to create a simple funnel and then oh uh, let's see how the funnel goes in this so i don't know why i did not click yep here it is so you will get an option of creating an account uh, there are many other things again um grow funnel is another option if you don't want to go for uh, system.io so it says um the account details all those things so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um uh, put my address all those things so let me go ahead and do that 2000 years later okay so guys uh, right now i just created my account or you guys can also put your email address name all those things so once you're done with that you'll come to this page now this is about offers all those things or uh, you need not worry about this because they just try to promote you to buy those products and it costs a lot of right here it's just a video if you want to look at it but see there are some plans all those things if you see there at $42 $142 you need not go ahead and buy all of these what you need to do is if you are in the top or bottom wherever you are just come below and if you come down right here or oh, you can say no thanks i don't want this offer you can click on that it's going to again show you oh uh, we do want to proceed you say yeah i want to stay with the free plan or if you want to go for you know uh, yes just skip the offer if you want to if you just want to go you want to go for the free one 
uh, if you want to go for system.io go for that or else you can just go for this now it just shows you how to create all those things it does not matter you can just go ahead and skip it um what i would do is log into the grove uh, page whichever is yours so i'm gonna put my um email address right here and you can also put your email address and the password which you had put so let me go ahead and put the email address skill and let me put my password and login so once i click on login oh uh, i will get my dashboard right here oh just a second yeah so this is the dashboard this is how it looks like it's just taking time to load so sorry for that if it's taking too much time so i'm gonna quickly create a funnel because it's already uh, taken a lot of time for the video i don't wanna extend it more so it shows many options right here there's home page there is uh, marketplace there is app store there is our services uh, events and workshops and uh, there's an app of this and there's apis if you want to uh, apply it in your um, you know website or however you want so let me go to my dashboard i want to go to my dashboard um so let's see it's taking a little time okay so this is the dashboard this is how it's gonna look like so you have the grow page grow funnel grow cell grow mail grow member grow video grow blog you can create a blog you can create create a cart you can create a webinar a lot of things what you can create in the free one so what i will do is i'm gonna create a funnel so we are gonna click on funnel so it's gonna take us to creating a funnel so let's quickly create a simple funnel you can create your own funnel however you want it to be so i'm gonna click on um sites or create or click on new sites so i'll come for single page or let's keep it this so let me choose a funnel right here which is which looks good quite good to choose okay this does not have that much option i'll come to funnel that is better funnel will be a better choice so we have funnel right here um let me see which is a good choice right here. again you can choose your own funnel type however you want it um it's totally up to you i'm just choosing a good one right here so let me see which is the best one out of here mm. we're getting the good choice right here that's the thing because there are a lot of choices and i just don't know which one to choose because that's why i say uh, it's totally up to you which one you want to go for okay so i found this one so let me go for this so i'm gonna click on this this looks quite good uh cbd sales funnel i'm gonna uh tell import full template and it's gonna create a template i'm gonna keep it as book funnel for now book funnel let's go for that start building yeah so whichever is your product this is a product oil product i believe i'm not gonna use this uh right now but um, use my book funnel as the example so there'll be a choice to customize it so let's quickly do it so there's this logo get your bottle all those things so what i'm going to do is i don't want this logo this is not my logo so i don't want that you know strikes to come to me so let me just wait it to reload properly and then i can go ahead so i'm going to remove the logo confirm you can put your own logo right there uh, let's keep this get your bottle what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it somewhere right here i don't want it um, somewhere right there let somewhere in the middle or somewhere yep this is fine this place is somewhere fine okay now what we are going to do is we are going to change this so oh, we are going to change the image so let's see oh where's the reset option to change it restyle the image so i'll just remove that confirm yeah so what i would do is i will add something right here maybe background animation let's see what's animation right here or layouts space or space is fine background yeah so what i would do is i will choose a photo that is either i'll choose this let's see if this uploads right here okay this is uploaded right here that's better for me actually so let's see let's wait for it to get uploaded and once it's done we're gonna click on that okay so it's uploaded we're gonna click on select and let's see if it works for the background yep there we go i actually i don't want this um 
text for now i want to click on confirm um nor do i want this so let this be there what i would do is i would uh, change this background to another one because the resize or the size is not matching so i'll go for this this is better so guys it's totally up to you how you want to customize it okay so i am customizing it in a different way so you can customize it in a different way so i'll just keep it this is the better this is way better so what i would do is i will remove uh, this and i will change it to another image right here um copy this is what is this okay space so let me just check um restyle delete it and add a new one choose image i'm going to put that um this image right here i'm going to open that it's uploading so once it gets uploaded right there we want to select that and update and close okay so we have that now uh, what i would do is i'll just add this thing right there that's better so text totally up to you how you want to customize it here i'm just customizing it as however i want so what is in this book yeah let's do that book sorry yep what is in this uh, right here so why you choose this so here we can do a little more customization uh, but i would not do right now uh we can add your own text right here all those things um this is not required i believe um it will be again a lot of work so i'm just going to keep it as it clean as it is so this also uh maybe wait what i can do is who is this for uh what i would do is i will change this i'll i can put the review maybe this is an example okay this is an example review from uh ravi so i can just put it right here so something like this okay so totally up to you how you want it to be um so these things let's assume there's something which i can add so i'll just add it um this is also not required right here um i'll just remove that um maybe we can just change this to the same image if possible choose i'll just choose that the same thing again update and close and maybe some text changes we could have done so totally up to you how you want to customize it now this is let's assume this is customized for now i'm not that good in designing so sorry for that but however you want to customize it you can go ahead and customize it uh, but now let's do the funnel thing because that is main right here so you're going to come to the uh, this right here uh, assets so you're going to come here you're going to see the website so you will see is home let's check out and you need to see if there's an upsell and what i would do is if uh, there is an pop up maybe some pop up right here which i would choose is a normal simple pop up which i would like to put yeah this one don't leave try okay this is kind of premium sorry oh uh, let me choose a good one mm, maybe a simple one okay, everything is premium right here that's the thing so it's like they are asking you to upgrade so don't worry there'll be some or the other free one you can just go ahead and do it for that so let me just check um, or let me do one thing you know what i would do is create a blank pop up and just add some you know something in that so let me add uh this or something something which is uh better see how growth get something like that you know see how this book um works or something like that so it's a it's actually taking to a video right here this is actually taking to a video you can put whichever if video if you have or something so something like that so make sure to check the if you have added and this thing should come right after the upsell and below that upsell so that's a pop up page right there and you can do your customization so that's how we create a simple you know a uh, funnel and you can go ahead and publish it you will have your own grow funnel so you have two choices you can use system.io and grow funnel uh, but if you have to take my opinion i would highly recommend you to go for system.io as it is easy to understand uh, grow funnel is little you know difficult to understand it's a little complicated and more uh mostly if you see they say to uh, you know upgrade your account whereas system.io gives you those templates if you see if you go back to uh those funnel right there 
um, the templates right here for example i just show you the thank you page also i think the thank you page there's a category for funnel so what you can do is you can come right here you come to the funnel you see the thank you page and you see there are many options right here but if you see in grow funnel there is way few options for selecting so that's why i would recommend grow for system.io but if you want to go for grow funnel it's totally up to you but both the links will be there in description so make sure to check out the description and make sure to comment down in the comment section how if you guys want uh, another video on uh, email marketing and uh, maybe on you want to see the book how the book is all about and many other things which i had asked you like about leads uh, organic traffic all those things so make sure to check out the description as well as to leave a comment in the comment section and let me know in the comment section how you like this video how this video was uh, all about it's quite a lot you know long video so sorry for that so this is vignesh signing off for today signing off for this video uh, see you on the next one bye bye Thank you.